Adding fractions with like denominators. A fraction has two parts. We know that there's the numerator and the denominator. The denominator tells how many parts there are all together. So in a group, or if you have a pie, how many pieces there's going to be, uh, the, that is the denominator. It's how many parts there are all together. So if we look at these pictures that we have here, uh, in this first one, if we count them, we can see that there's one, two, three, four. So our denominator here would be four. Let's go over here to this next one. We can count them. One, two, three, four, and five. So our denominator for this particular one would be five. And this one down here, the triangle, that one's a simple one. One, two, our denominator is two. So in each of those, you can see that the denominator tells us how many pieces we have all together, how many equal parts there are. Now, one thing you may notice is the, um, the, as, the num as the denominator, as the number gets bigger, the pieces start to get smaller. The numerator, that tells us how many pieces are being looked at. This is the top part of the fraction. So let's go here. We got the same pictures that we had before. If you remember, we counted. This time I'm going to count. We have, uh, let's shade in one of these. And if I look at that triangle, I say, how many pieces are shaded or how many pieces have a red splotch on them? That's a better way to look at it. Well, only one of them do. So we'll write the fraction. One is our numerator out of two. And if we go over here to our circle, we say, how many of the circle pieces are shaded orange. Let me shade in some orange there real quick. Well, we know that there are four pieces all together, and we shaded three of them orange. So our fraction for this one is three fourths. And then down at our, uh, we'll call that a candy bar. Uh, let's color some of the pieces green. And our question can be, how many of the pieces are shaded green? Well, first we have to count how many pieces we have all together. One, two, three, four, five. So our denominator is five. And then how many pieces are green? One, two, three, four pieces are green. So our fraction for this one is four fifths. All right, adding fractions, that's what we're doing today. Adding fractions is actually very simple. So what we want to do, let's look at a problem here, is we have one-fourth plus two-fourths. The first thing we need to look at is see is, are our denominators the same? And for our purposes, if the denominator is the same, then we can add. If it's not, then we have a little bit of problem. But in this case, one-fourth plus two-fourths, they both have the same denominator. They both have a denominator of four, so we are good to go. So once you've determined if the denominators are the same, the next thing you're going to do is over in your answer, you're going to write a 4 as the denominator. The denominator never changes. We're never going to go 4 plus 4 is 8. That's a big no-no. So we've at, we just carry the denominator straight across. And now what we want to do is we're going to add the numerators. And we have 1 plus 2. So our answer here is 3 4. So let's get rid of that 8. That's distracting me. All right, our answer here, 1 fourth plus 2 fourths is 3 fourths. And I'm going to show you what that looks like as a picture. We draw, use some circle area models here. All right, and let me draw another one over here for the other one. Okay, so these are divided into fourths. And I'm just going to shade in one piece up here. And then over here for 2 fourths, we're going to shade in two fourths over here, and then that's going to equal. We'll draw another area model divided into fourths, and we're just going to color in one space for each of the ones that are over here. So there's our one, two, and three. So our answer here is three fourths, one fourth plus two-fourths equals three-fourths. Okay, here's another one. Two-fifths plus two-fifths. Again, we're going to look at our denominators to see if they are the same. Yes, the denominators are the same, so we're going to carry that right over to our answer. 
And then we're just going to add our denominators. 2 plus 2 equals 4 fifths. Remember, we never add the denominators. We don't say 5 plus 5 equals 10. We just carry it straight over. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw area models just to show you how this looks as a picture. If we were to do this as a picture, make sure I divide these up. Remember, a fraction is equal pieces, so I try to get them as equal as possible. And here's one down here for our answer. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and shade these in. We'll use blue this time. Two fifths, because we had five pieces and we color in two, plus two fifths. All right, and then down here in our answer, we're just going to color in one piece for each one of them, and that should give us four fifths, and it does. All right, this one I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to draw a picture of it for you. We're just going to add it. Remember, look at the denominators. Are they the same? Yes, they are, so carry it straight over. So we'll carry over our 9. We're going to add 3 plus 4. And 3 plus 4 equals 7. So our answer here is 7 ninths. So like I said, adding fractions, adding fractions with like denominators is very simple. So uh, we'll do, oh, let's take a look at this one. This one's, a, this one's a good one. Okay, so sometimes you might run into something like this. Let's look at our denominators. Denominator is 4. We're going to carry that straight over. And then we're just going to add 3 plus 1. And that gives us 4 fourths. Which means, if I draw a picture of that, it's not a very good circle, but we'll go with it anyway. If I draw a picture of that and I shade it in, here's 3 fourths. And then I'll change colors just to show you. Add in 1 fourth. What happened to our pizza? Or what happened to our pie? All of the pieces are full, so four-fourths, that answer is actually the same as one whole. So you can write it either way. Um, this way right here is probably the best way to do it because you have four pieces, all four of them are still there, so the answer is one whole. Okay, now it's time for you to practice. Go ahead and grab um, something to write with, and let's do this one. The first problem here is three-sixths plus two-sixths. I want you to go ahead and hit pause on the video. Solve that up real quick or you can do it while I'm still telling you to pause. Three-sixths plus two-sixths and your answer here should be five-sixths just like that. And You can draw your uh, area model if you'd like to. Either way is fine. Alright, let's go to the next one. We're going to do some more practice. Uh, one-eighth plus three-eighths. Go ahead and hit pause. Solve that up. Let's take a look. Okay, 1 8 plus the 3 eighths. Remember, we're going to carry our denominator straight over. 1 plus 3. Well, 1 plus 3 equals 4. And our denominator is 4 eighths. Very good. And one more practice one for you. 3 sevenths plus 4 sevenths. Go ahead and hit pause and go ahead and solve that one. You should have done it like this. Carried your denominator straight over. They got the 7. Again, remember, we don't add our denominators together. We just carry them straight across. 3 plus 4. Well, 3 plus 4 gives us 7. And our denominator is 7. So it's a 7 sevenths, which means our answer here is actually 1. I'll give us the big number 1. All right, well, great job on learning how to add fractions with like denominators. Uh, excellent job, and you should be ready to, uh, to do the rest of your work today. Excellent job. Thanks, everyone.